Hey guys, in this video, we will discuss one CSS property, clear. So the clear property sets whether an element must be moved below floating elements that precede it. So in simple word, the clear property is directly related to floats. So float is one of the useful CSS property. The value can be float left to align or float that element to the left or float light, float none. There are few values with float property as well. So if the element can fit horizontally in the space next to another element, which is floated, it will. If you apply clear to that element in the same direction as float, then the element will move down below that floated element. Okay. So we will see, you can see here, we have one float left element main content and sidebar is on right side so this is float right and if we don't apply any clear to this footer element then this footer will be fitted here below the sidebar which is not correct so if you apply clear to this footer element then it will clear this space and footer will be set in below this main content and sidebar so this is correct html right so let's see an actual example how clear property works so there are few uh, values like the default value is none and it will not clear it will not apply any clear property after that possible values are clear left right both okay there are values like inline start and inline end as well so let's start with creating a simple html okay so let's create after this container okay so let's add one div and in div we have one paragraph okay and uh, let's give some class let's give it a wrapper okay so let's give some class let's say um, let's make it green okay and some content okay so let's add another p type and let's give class name yellow and some other content as well but i will change the length okay so we can see the difference so there are two paragraphs and after that after that we have another paragraph and you can keep the name class left or anything you can give bottom for example okay and this is bottom paragraph okay so now let's see how this is rendering so right now you can see this is green yellow okay so let's start creating some css in css we can write down wrapper class let's add some padding 10 pixel and add border 1 pixel solid mm, class any color you can give okay so in that wrapper we will have this css okay after that, we can use these two classes. The first one is green. Green. Let's give it float left. And another is yellow. And give it float right. Okay. With float, you need to give some width as well. Let's give it 30 first to left element. And with uh, let's keep it for this right element. Okay, so now we can see this paragraph is green. Let's give background color so we can see background color green. And here let's add background color yellow. Okay, now. You can see we have 
two paragraphs okay yellow and green and this paragraph bottom which is right now here because we are applying float to these two paragraphs okay so to clear this float or in simple words you can say to clear the mess which is done by this float property we can use clear here okay so to paragraph here we can give some width a common paragraph so let's see okay so paragraph width is 50 percent but it will over override because we have given float and some width okay so right now you can see we don't have uh, any luxury to set this bottom at the bottom of this two paragraphs okay to fix this what we can do let's add that class bottom and clear both so once you apply this clear property it will clear the space a float and it will be down to this paragraph you can see now we can apply some background color let's give some aqua and padding let's give 40 pixel or 20 pixel is enough okay so now you can see here you can see the bottom is now here paragraph is after this two paragraphs so the float effect is now reduced or removed by this clear property okay so let me add clear left it will also work because it will remove this float from this float left okay and if we give float right it will it will be floated after this left element right so in this case it should be clear left or we can also use clear both okay so this is very useful property when you use float in your css so right now we have um, in css3 we have css like grid and uh, we do not we are not using much of a float but when you use float it is really important to check if it is float your elements are floating and you want to clear those float effects okay so this is very useful when you use float and uh, one more thing you need to uh, keep in your mind uh, while using this uh, float property uh, it is supported by all the browsers like chrome edge firefox opera safari uh, for both mobile and desktop okay so you can use it without any browser support issue so that is all for this video guys if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel you can visit my channel there are more than 200 videos and videos are related to css3 you can say you can check there are many videos on javascript exercises as well there are a few videos on react and uh, there are a few videos on wordpress as well you can check playlist here there are 16 videos on the wordpress as well so you can check and hope you will subscribe and see you next time around thank you